In the Days of These Kings, the Book of Daniel in Preterist Perspective by J. Rogers, Part 25. Part 2, Notes on Daniel, Introduction. Part 2, Notes on Daniel, Introduction. Iron sharpeneth iron, so a man sharpeneth the countenance of his friend. Proverbs 27, 17. The dialogue is an ancient and venerable genre used by those with the truth to present. Read Plato's Symposium, for example, and you can relish a spirited conversation among friends, replete with good-natured ribbing and honest delight in discussing big topics. A striking benefit of the internet is the way it makes it easier for people to compare notes on specialized topics. This next section can be read as a dialogue, containing questions and challenges I have received over the years to a preterist interpretation of Daniel, and my notes in response to these helpful conversation partners. This lively debate occurred on the Reformed Christian Culture and Internet Discussion Group in the summer of 2004. As I posted my chapter analyses of Daniel from a preterist perspective, several preterists and a few historicists debated the fine points. Most of these contributors had already formed a definite position and had read my short commentary on Daniel. Rather than either side being convinced, we tested each other's positions, refined our definitions, and clarified misunderstandings. I arranged the notes on Daniel that emerged from the discussion to follow the chapter order of Daniel. I have added notes as I have received more questions over the years. The number of preterists is growing dramatically as this trend in interpreting Bible prophecy garners interest around the world. In response to my articles on eschatology at Forerunner.com, I get frequent challenges, questions, and opinions. Most of these are from a dispensationalist viewpoint, but some are questions from those who have taken the time to explore the idealist, historicist, and preterist positions. Several of these notes discuss the distinction between historicism and preterism. Since many of the same arguments against historicism and in favor of preterism can apply to futurism or idealism, I did not need to spend as much time on refuting those positions. Since Daniel is quoted and alluded to throughout the New Testament, I also cover some of these points. There are notes answering frequent questions I have received on Matthew 24, 2 Thessalonians 2, and Revelation. I write as one who has been immersed in the discussion for many years, so if you have any questions, or if anything is unclear, feel free to send me an email at jrogers at forerunner.com or comment at www.forerunner.com. If you have a question about the preterist view of Daniel, read this book, but feel free to ask if you do not see your question covered. I will try to answer all questions. Mm -hmm.